Hi, so I'm going to do a really quick haul for you today, and I do apologize for the lighting. Um, it is late here, and I like to do my hauls with the natural lighting, so you kind of see all the colors, but um, I work all week, at like all day, so I'm not going to be able to do that, so I just decided just to hurry up and get it done so I can kind of show you what I got. Um, there's a lot of nice new products out that I'm really enjoying, and I've had these, excuse my hair, I'm trying to fix it, it's making me look, ugh. Anyway, um, there's a lot of new products that I'm really liking and I just wanted to share them with you. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you actually is um, a few things that my mom got for me. So <laughs> certain things I don't use, but I will, you know, I am open to using um, new products that I've never tried before. So I'm kind of glad she kind of gets me products that I've never used. So that's nice of her. So. I just gotta grab it. The first thing she got me, um, I told her that the bottom of my hair is kind of feeling dry and it's really starting to bother me. So I am looking for um, some products to kind of get this rehydrated. If anybody knows of any products that they use and it works really well for them, um, my hair is really bothering me. Um, please let me know you know put it in the comment box because I'd really like to know what you think of um, something that you're using and I'm gonna quit trying to say um so much she got me the intensive hair repair and this is $28 at our local dro um, grocery store and I apologize I keep messing up it's because it's late I know I said that so many times and oh sorry but in this is the hair repair and you actually use this twice a week and it's supposed to repair damaged hair smooth and softens um, makes hair manageable again and it says to use it two times weekly for best results so i'm going to try this out and see how i like it and then she got me the conditioning shampoo now i don't like um, try another shampoos because I do use Redken All Soft and it is my favorite shampoo. It makes my hair so soft and I would never change anything about my shampoo. But she did get this and I'm going to maybe use this once or twice a week to see how it works. And um, this is supposed to do like the main, you know, the same thing. It's supposed to help, you know, rehydrate your, <laughs> rehydrate your hair and do all that. So, and this was also $28. So um, I will do a review on those products um, after I use them for a little bit just so you can kind of get the feel of them if you've never used them before. So another product that I've never used and never never have tried is Avon and so she picked me up some um, eyeshadow quads and this one's in Glitz and Glamour. And they are actually really pretty colors. I don't know yet. I hope you can see them. I don't know yet if I'm going to like this or how pigmented it is. I will let you know in a um, future video how I feel about these. And I'm not sure what she paid for these. Um, and then she got me the one, and this is what the box looks like. And then she got me the one in Vibrant Spice Quad. And this is just, the colors are just really pretty. I hope you can see them. I know my lighting's really bad. And it's just, they just look like they're just such, such pretty colors. So I think that I might have fun with them. I think I might like them. So, um, and then the last quad she got me was the Romantic Mauve's quad. Now, I really like this one. It's all mauve. And <clears throat> this one here looks like it might be white, but it isn't. It's white with a mauve undertone. So really nice. I'm liking that. And then the last thing she got me from Avon was the Avon blush. And this is in Heavenly Pink. And this is just a really, really pretty um, pink rose color. I just love it. I just think it's really pretty. So I'm hoping to use this sometime in the future just to check it out and see how I like it. And then 
um, I went to my mall and I went to Bath and Body and they was having a sale on the little um, mini lotions and I grabbed, they were three for 10, so you save five bucks. So I did grab um, three cents and I grabbed all the body wash, the lotion and the sprays. So I spent about $40, but I got a lot of these nice little guys. Um, these are nice for traveling. Um, I actually got a bunch of them for, I'm doing two swaps, I think, yeah, two swaps. And I did get some for my swaps as well. So I got the Bee Enchanted, and this is just a really, it just smells so good. It's like a, a cotton candy smell, I think, it's what that smells like. And then I got the Twilight Woods and the Secret Wonderland. And as well, I'm not going to show everything, but uh, I also did get the Bee Enchanted sprays and body washes. I got them all to match. Um, I got myself a whole set, and like I said just a couple minutes ago, I did get them for um, a couple swaps as well. And then I grabbed at my Walgreens the Revlon Color Stay. Now, I've been hearing really good things about this. That's why I decided to grab it. Um, I've never tried it before, so I decided, you know, since everybody's raving about this product, it must be a good product. So, I was excited to um, finally get some of that and try it out. I've not tried it yet, so I don't know how I'm going to like it. And then one more thing my mother did get me that I forgot. So I have this all just setting all in a mess here. And this is like a clean and clear morning burst, I believe. And it takes batteries, so it turns on and shakes a little bit. I guess it's supposed to clean your face a little bit. Um, I'm not sure, but she only paid $5 for this, so I took it out of the box earlier. And then back to Bath & Body, they was having a sale on their lip gloss, and I love their lip gloss, and it was buy two, get one free. So I believe I got um, 12 all together, but I kept these two for myself. The rest are all for my swaps. But the cute thing about it was they have these little um, cases now, kind of like what holds the um, hand sanitizer and I just like it so I can clip it on my purse when I want to have you know a lip gloss on hand and I got the juiced yum berry and marshmallow cream it's just really pretty shimmery colors and these are seven seven fifty a piece but you got one for free and then this was three dollars i did think this was a little pricey just for this but i just thought it was just something nice to have so i did get one and some for my swaps and then while i was at the mall i stopped at claire's and got this nail polish remover pads and these were like three dollars and i know i only spent three dollars on them but i just do not like these at all it's like a oil that removes um, your nail polish off, but it just gets all around your fingers and then you have to go back with regular regular nail polish remover and take it off so I didn't like these at all. I didn't think it was they did not work that great so I would never repurchase this and um, and then just to say what I do have on my nails today is this little nail like sample that just says nails on it um i did get this from a france swap that i did so really nice it's like a purpley gray color so back to what i got and then i went to um sephora and i got hair everywhere um i went to sephora and i got this urban decay naked urban decay this is the naked skin and i'm in five 5.5 and I just love this foundation I've been using it for about a week and a half and it's really nice it also has a I'm hoping you could see it trying to block out some of the light it's also got a pump on it it's just really nice I I love this foundation I am glad that I picked it up I wasn't going to get it I kept looking at it putting it down finally I decided to get it and it was $38 and I think it's well worth it it kind of reminds me of my makeup forever it's same consistency and this doesn't cake or anything. I do have a review video coming up next on this. But 
And then I got the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and they're always out of this when I go, so I was really psyched about getting this. Um, they finally have one, and this is the Candlelight Shadow Insurance, and <clears throat> this is $18. This is just, I've been wanting this for so long, and it's just a really pretty, I'll just do a small swatch for you so you can kind of see. It's almost like a highlight like a highlighter I, and it's like as if you it's just so pretty it's like if you're in a room with lit by candles I guess it's just the prettiest eyeshadow um, primer that I've actually owned I just love it so there that is and then I grabbed um, these were one of my favorite things I grabbed I grabbed two and I liked them so much that I went back and got um, two more there is a few more colors that I didn't grab, but I'm thinking I might go back and get them just to have them. And they're the new um, Urban Decay High Gloss Lip Color Pencils. And the first one I got was in Nude. And these are just so pretty. Or this one's in Naked, I'm sorry, Naked. And this is just a really pretty um, nude color. And it's just so pretty and I actually have it on my lips but because of my lighting you're not going to be able to see it and I just love this and the, the color payoff like it's so pigmented and it also actually stays on your lips for you know a pretty long time it's stains pretty good so it's kind of like a lip stain I'd, I'd say because it lasts long for me so and then I got punch drunk which is like a orange with a little bit of red in it and these, I don't know if I said it, are $19 at Sephora. I believe they might have them at Ulta too. And there they are. Really pretty orange. I just hope you can see the colors. Um, and then I got the one in Crush, which is, which is like a fuchsia pink. And there that one is. So pretty. Um, like I said, I just like these so much that I think I might go back and get the other colors. And um, I'll be having a review video also as well on these. And then the last one I got was F-Bomb. I actually kind of just like the name of it, but it is really pretty. This is almost like a cherry red color. And I, I don't really think that I can pull off any reds, but I think um, with this being almost like a lip stain I think I might be okay we'll see so <clears throat> yeah that was like one of my favorite products that I did get with these past couple um, shopping trips I've had and then I got okay let's see that's all I got from Sephora so then I went to Ulta and um, I just went in for this um, nice gift thing they had going on, and I will get into that right now. If you bought $17.50 worth of um, Ulta products, I believe it was makeup or skincare, um, you just got a really great gift. And I'll show you that after I show you the products that I paid full price for. I did get the Ulta Lip Crayon, and it doesn't have a name on it. I think it might be Bon Voyage. And this is a nude. I always get nude in something, huh? And it's just a really pretty nude. And they're not shimmery. It's a, it, this is actually a matte, like a matte pencil. And then I grabbed the uh, lip gloss. And this is in number 20. And I believe it was called Poppy. And this looks like it would be really pigmented. But it isn't when you put it on. It's actually really sheer, and it's just, I really like it. I didn't think I would. There's that. And then the last thing I got was the Ultra Brand Eyeshadow, and this is Truffle. It's a really pretty, like, taupe color. Um, now, I've, if you have an Ulta close to you, I would try to go and get this um, gift set before they run out, because I know it is while well, supplies last. So I was excited that I did go in and get one, but you're only allowed to have one, um, and you have to have like their rewards card, and you're only allowed to have one, and that's how they can tell if you bought any more. But 
and I, there's three different bags. There's a, a black one, a red one, and then this white one, and they all look like they have um, animal pattern on them. So, and I got the Willow collection. I just thought this one might suit me a little better, and I just think that this is so cute. But <clears throat> inside of this cute little makeup bag, and you could just, this is just so cute. I've got a little handle on it is the skincare and this is a um, moisturizer for your face and then I'm not going to open this up because I don't know yet if I'm going to keep it or give it for a gift to my sister or not a gift but give it to my sister and I don't want to give it to her all opened up but there is two eyeshadow quads in it and I just and the colors are so pretty I hope you're not going to be able to really see them but um, this one has greens, this one has like a gray and a white, uh, just really nice. And then here's a little nail polish here. Here's a lipstick here, and the lipstick is a full size, and the nail polish isn't, but... And then you got a blush here, a lip gloss, three eyeshadow pencils, and then one looks like a... Oh, it's a contour brush, it says right there. And then you got a full size mascara. And I believe that's it from what I can see. Oh, and you get an eyeliner pencil. So you get all this stuff. And it's basically everything you need to do your face except for like foundation or something or bronzer. But everything else is in this little bag. I just thought that it was such a great deal because you're also getting the three products that you paid for to spend $17.50 to get this. So I just thought it was an absolute great deal and I wish that you could buy more than one. I might have my mom go buy me the red and black one with her card. Um, I know because she's not going to get this so why not. I'm thinking about going to do that tomorrow just to get another bag because they are all different colors. You pick the bag that you want and um, they have a display to show you kind of what colors are in your bag so that's how I knew and um, the last thing I got from Ulta myself was the MYX the curve eyeliner and this is in jet black and I'm so excited about getting to use this they say it's supposed to make it really easy to put your eyeliner on and this was a little pricey for an eyeliner from MYX I guess but I just really wanted it to try it out to see how I would like it. And this was $14, so not bad. I'm getting I'm pretty excited about getting to use it. So while I was there at um, Alta, I wanted this perfume and it's, it was called Alien. And because I spend so much money on, on makeup and perfumes, I just decided I put it down and decided I wasn't gonna get it. I'm tired of just like spending all my money. It's like where it goes makeup but so um my husband went back in the Alta after um I went home and he got it for me so it was like a little surprise so it is the alien and this was I believe $68 or $78 one of the two and um this one's the non-refillable water bottle you can also get the one that you can refill but and this is what it looks like can see that and it's just you just spray it right here on the top so I was just so excited about getting this um, it was a complete surprise like I said I was kind of staying away from buying um, makeup from now on I've been getting like little things here and there so I did put it back because I felt like I spent I just went through the story so I'm not gonna get into it again so it was a surprise from hubby so I was really excited about that and um i think that's all i got so yeah please comment um rate and subscribe and um i'm gonna say this one more time i'm gonna be having a really nice giveaway soon so be looking for that video and thanks for watching one thing i did forget to show you was this um this is a part of my haul and i just forgot to show you i thought i'd hurry up and do a quick um kind of video to stick in with the other one to show you this but i did get the Lorac pro palette and it comes with a nice little behind the scenes eye primer 
and I looked at this for the past week and a half, two weeks, and wanted to get it, wanted to get it, didn't want to spend the money, finally did. Um, this was $42, and the colors are just beautiful, if you can see those. And it's just the prettiest colors, you can't even really see them, and that's sad, but this is just, um, the, pack the packaging is just so sleek, it's just, and it has, this is all a big mirror up on top, and it's really thin, I just think this is the sleekest, cutest little palette, and, um, like I said, it is a little pricey, $42, but you get like 16 shadows, I believe, in here, so it's kind of worth it, I think, you know, and it's a, it's a good product, so... $42 isn't bad when you're getting a really nice palette that you'll get a lot of use out of. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that real quick. And um, if I'd say if you have the extra money, I would definitely go and pick it up. It has a lot of colors you can use, a lot of colors to make um, smoky eye, whatever you want. Bye.